dagger out. If we wanted to, we could practice our throwing here. We aren't going to do that. Because we need to go all the way around to the back side of this island. And it's going to take a while. Especially with how fast the clock advances on the overworld. We're just going to ignore all these other points of interest because we are not interested in them. And they conveniently mark the Pegasus on, on the map for you. Even more conveniently, we didn't get into a random battle. Which I kind of wanted to do. Oh, we can put our knife away. Pegasus just flapping around. Fill the amphora, and... <laughs> Taking a drink of these waters, you feel incredible joy and excitement. It's as if you've been reborn. You feel like you can face any monster or challenge and be victorious. This is great! So, we've got something of a little platforming puzzle here. Because we need to get up to the very, very top. Salim needed some of those, um, some of those feathers. So we're going to ignore all of that and just float. Whee! It feels like you're levitating on top of the world. It's almost like flying. We're just going to grab a few feathers. You grab an ample supply of feathers and put them carefully away. We can grab some more. And some more. Some more. Some more. 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 A whole lot more. You have as many feathers as your backpack can handle. How many feathers do we have? 100. Well. That's good. Must have clicked on something. Oh, something else that's going on. Just remember, day three. There's something else that's happening. Over here. At the bank. They still haven't got the guy that took our money. We may never get our cash back. Hi, banker. My bank is robbed and I have a headache. You expect me to have a good day? How you doing? I can't believe it. Guy just waltzed in here past the street guards who naturally didn't see a thing. What are we paying taxes for, blind men? Considering the odds that the guards will ever catch the guy, I'll be begging on the streets of Silmaria soon. So, what's this robbery? Last night, somewhere around dawn, a guy picks the lock on the door and breaks in. He figured out some way to disarm the trap on the safe and cracked the safe that had a written guarantee which said it couldn't be picked locked by thieves. The guy took everything, including the guarantee paper. Probably intends on collecting the money by guarantee himself. Now, that would be the smart move. So, who's the thief? It looked like he was in a great hurry because he spilled some coins around and left things a mess. My luck to be robbed by a slob. Is there any evidence? 
<laughs> what am I, a detective? If you want to look around, be my guest. There is a reward for the capture of the robber. If you figure out who done it, make sure you get the money back. Lots of unhappy folks around here want their cash. All right, bye. If you see anything suspicious, let the guards know. We've got to get that guy. Well, here's a thing on the floor. An interesting toolkit. This small box is filled with neatly organized lockpicks and tools. Hey, did you drop this? What is that? I do not recognize it. It may be that the thief left it behind. After all, he left in a hurry. Well, how can we figure out who this belongs to? Hey, Chakra, is this yours? This seems to be a set of tools related to lock picking. You say that you found this at the bank. Perhaps you should show this to Erasmus. He may be able to tell you more than I. He has a few spells that let him judge the past of an object. All right, we'll go talk to Erasmus. But before we do that... Let's see if we can get back to Famous Adventurer's house before he goes to bed. Uh, Hippocrene water. Here you That's go. It. You've got it. I'd know its smell anywhere. It's got the scent of the sweat of the wild bull you're riding. Ew. The chill of a starlit night on the top of a mountain peak. The perfume of a lover's lips. How could I ever forget this? It's the drink that makes men become gods. It's adventure and glory and life. It's what you're here for, isn't it? It's why I was here for so long I just didn't realize it. Uh, how you doing, famous adventurer? Ask me that question again when I've had my quaff of this stuff. I've been dead for so long here, and I didn't even know it. This will bring me back to life again. Yeah, what is this stuff? You tasted it, didn't you? You couldn't help but drink deep the waters of the Hippocrene. It's the milk of Mother Nature, the liquor of inspiration, the very spirit of adventure. Okay, bye. Come back here after I've had the chance to enjoy this. I'll try to find something you'd be interested in. You think he's had enough time to enjoy it? Welcome back, lad. I wanted to really thank you in return for shaking the cobwebs from my head and dusting me off with the hippocrene water. You know, there's not much I can give you in return for the hippocrene water. I never was much into that magic stuff. I did meet a dying leopard man while traveling through the jungles of Tana once. He had a magical scroll on him. Said it was the worst magic there was. Destroys everything for miles, including the magic user. The old guy never had the nerve to try the spell, so he gave it to me. It's not much of a gift. Sometimes, though, a last resort is all that is left. Sure hope you never have to use it. Hi, famous adventurer. It's a gorgeous morning today, isn't it? Makes me want to run outside and dive off the dock. Swim to who knows where. It's that kind of a day. You sound like you're doing better. I am alive again. I feel like I've just wakened from a long sleep. I've got some books to write and stories to tell, and then I'm off to find some new adventures and new tales. Life's too short not to enjoy it fully. So what's your actual name? You want to know my real name? Which one do you want to know? My name is Davy Jones when I sail upon the sea. I've chorused with the sirens as they sang their songs to me. I've supped on Circe's Island, though she thought I was a boar. And she's the only girl I hope to never see once more. What's the flying horse all about? It's beautiful, isn't it? There's only one in all the world. Kind of sad thinking of it all alone like that. Everyone needs a lover sometime. Farewell, I'm not volunteering. And enjoy every moment of your adventure. Even the worst is better than being dead. 
Alright. Our reward for giving him that weird energy drink water is a magic scroll. Thermonuclear Blast. This scroll is written on the hide of a long dead animal. It has the words Thermonuclear Blast written on it in magical notation. Well, oh. the words of the spell burn themselves into your brain as the scroll crumbles into dust. This spell should only be used when there is no hope. Like now. Your magic spell flowered into a mushroom cloud. Now there's not enough left of you to put into a shroud. Oh, we're not going to load that one. So now we have that spell. That's going to be a hard one to skill up. Oh, five o'clock. Nope, not here today. Three thousand bucks for betting on Elsa that time. Big money, big prizes. One thousand on Toro. So you can make pretty good money doing the arena betting when the challenger wins. When the champion wins, well, it's I guess that's what everybody expects. So everybody bets on him, and the odds are really kind of bad. But if the ch if the champion is is trash like Kokino is, then get some money. Hopefully, we can still go see Erasmus. Looks like the market's still open. Target the thing. There we go. The wizard is expecting you. Boop. For some reason, some of the the automatic walking sequences just aren't working correctly in this. So instead, you just kind of teleport. Which I guess is better than it just soft locking. Perfect timing. You are most welcome right now. Fenris and I have just finished a game of Wizard's World. Erasmus was losing, so he blew up the game. I just got a little over-enthusiastic, that's all. Now, what can I do for you? Hey, Wizard's World was the game that we were playing with Aziza in, uh, part two. Hi, Fenris. It's invigorating to see you again. How are you doing? As Korat Spondent for the Rodent Anti-Defamation League, I'm about to cover a real story. Three visually challenged mice are about to sue the life partner of an agricultural engineer for mutilating them unmercifully. They're sure to win. They got a first rat lawyer. 
Tell me about Erasmus. Erasmus can be irascible at times. Fenris would try the patience of a pachyderm. Okay, bye. That's it. Hello, I must be going. What's the matter? We suffer from the heartbreak of halitosis or something? Hey, Erasmus, how are you doing? You look a little distracted, as if you had something on your mind. Contemplating a crime, eh? Huh? In a manner of speaking. Fenris can be rather irritating at times. That's I ratating. We rodents don't gnaw when to quit. Tell me a joke. Let me tell this one. A man walked up to a healer. He has a cucumber up his nose, a carrot in his left ear, and a banana in his right ear. Healer, healer, what's the matter with me, he asked. You're not eating properly, replied the healer. <laughs> Off to another exciting adventure, no doubt. I went adventuring once. I had a lot of interesting experiences and learned a great deal. My advice to adventurers is this. Never get your boots wet. They make nasty, squishy noises and they never quite fit right. I like when I open my inventory after all those jokes and puns and it's immediately on thermal nuclear blast. No, I'm... Okay, he's, he's doing a thing. Yeah, um, finish whatever you're doing. Hmm, where did you find this little kit? <laughs> you explained that you found it at the bank. Well then, shall we see what we can learn from this? That's why he showed you that thing after all. All right then. Trissel, Drassel, Trussel, Tree. Show us what we learn from thee. This spell will show us something about the previous owner of this rather quaint toolbox. Sort of a cheap peep on a creep? More of a brief relief of a thief, I would say. It seems to be an arm that keeps coming and going. I gotta hand it to you. That's some clue. It's clearly the case of the purloining palm reader. He'll soon be under arrest. Don't be absurd. This clearly means something. I only wish I could help you more. It actually does help us. Let's see, current time. Yeah, we can still do this. Mystic Magnet, go! Go ahead and save. Three, one. Actually, I should be doing two instead of one. Because, I mean, we're, we're... Dash one would just be the first one. We've already got a regular one. Oh, we also need to do the arena. Just thought of that. Watch Kokino get slapped around by Toro. Because I think if you go by, if you just kind of let the battle happen off screen, then it just rolls a die. Well, figuratively, it's just like based on a percentage chance of who's going to win rather than trying to simulate the fight between the two. And I don't think it's very accurate, and you won't know if it was correct or not. Greetings. This night, I, Kokino, shall battle a fearsome Minotaur. However, no mythological monster shall defeat me. No, you are super dead. So I find it better to just go ahead and let the battle play out live. Because then you actually see, well, who's going to win between these two fighters? Not just, who's going to win between these two dice rolls? Our champion this night is challenged by a monstrous minotaur. I call to battle Toro. Toro, fight. May the contest... Begin!
it's not even a contest. Get wrecked, Kokino. He dies to everything. The victor in this bloody battle is the Minotaur, Toro. All right, super late. We need to get to the dead parrot. Yeah, Toro is a total badass. And yet, he's probably not counting you, the third strongest fighter. Because I'm pretty sure Elsa is the strongest. Magnum Opus is behind her. And then Toro is behind him. And Kokino would be dead last if it wasn't for our good friend Abdul. Wait, who's this guy? The one-armed man seems to be leaving the inn right now. Well, we are certainly looking for an arm that keeps coming and going. <laughs> How suspicious. Alright, get comfy. He takes a while to get there. You watch the one-armed man walk out under the walk down under the bridge and open the concealed door at the bottom. And it took him like 20 minutes to do it. He was in no hurry. Examine the hidden door. Close inspection of this wall shows you the outline of a hidden door and a small area for a lock. Beside the lock, you see the mechanism for a trap. This could be tricky. Well, you see, the funny thing about traps is that we could just blow ourselves up. Your spell sets off the magical trap on the hidden door. Fortunately, you are not harmed by it. Your spell opens the concealed door. Hey, what are you doing here? This place is not for the likes of you. Get out! Hello, man. You ain't got no right to be here, and I'll not be welcoming you. Go on with you out of here. What was your name again? I be Orestes, a retired seaman, an honest merchant. Why do you want to be known? Well, it's funny that your name is Orestes, because I'm accusing you of a bank robbery. What are you trying to say? Why should I be knowing anything about the bank robbery? There's none that ever saw me near the bank. Hey, what about this business of yours? Why should I be telling you anything? You're not but a land-loving lily-livered revenuer, and I got nothing to say to you. Well, we've got proof. Proof? What sort of proof you be talking about? You ain't got nothing to pin on me. We found your tools. You found a tool and you think it's mine? You still got no proof. I happens to sell such tools here. Anyone could have owned it. Yeah, so, so funny thing he mentions that, this is the Thieves Guild, and if we were playing as a thief, we could actually use his services. We are not playing as a thief, so you're under arrest. Magic? You mean that pull a rabbit out of a hat, pick a card sort of ruck? Who do you get to do your spells, a gnome? They're tricksy sorts, and no one trusts them. No, it was the most respectable wizard. Erasmus. That crazy wizard with a talking rat. I saw him come to town after the king got off. He just appeared right in the middle of the Hall of Kings. He's the real thing. I'm not messing with magic. 
I've no desire to be a toad the rest of my life. A toad with no arm might have a bit of trouble hopping, or so I thinks. I'll go quietly with you, while I still be walking on my own legs. You lead the thief to the guard post above and have the guards place him under arrest. You are soon summoned to the Hall of Kings. After explaining the situation to the guards, you are sent to the bank the next morning. And that's why we waited. We got our money back. The thief still had all the cash. Hadn't spent a drachma. Guess I don't need to polish the old begging bowl just yet. Hi, banker. Hi there. Heard you helped catch the crook that robbed the bank. Good job. The reward money has been automatically deposited to your savings account. You are getting quite a sum in there. Well, how are you doing today? Now that the money is back and I can collect on the guarantee for the safe, things are going my way again. I may even be able to buy a better safe. A better safe in this bank? Things are settling back to normal. Care to make a deposit to your savings account? You know it's safe because we got all the money back the last time. <laughs> well, with a sales pitch like that. They put the crook away in the jail by Westgate. He only had one arm and he could crack the best safe in Silmaria. Guess they don't make safe traps like they used to. Oh, and if you were playing as a thief, you could rob the bank. If you come here at night, manage to pick the lock on the door without any guards seeing you, and then come here and disarm the trap and open the safe, you can take it. Yeah, I already put the 2,000 drachmas into your account just so you know it will be safe. Good job on getting that robber the scum. 2,000 bucks. Go out there and make some more money. Can't have too much in savings, you know. We are filthy stinking rich right now. Okay, thinking, what else did we need to do? Well, they did tell us to go speak to Logos in the Hall of Kings, and we never actually did that. Let's read the sign, the, the news board. The rights of rulership. Rights of rulership shall begin when five or more contestants have entered. Well, we haven't yet, and that's why they're waiting on us. Fishermen and bees flee. The fishing villages of Marit have been deserted by the fishermen. Fishing boats have been attacked by Hesperian mercenaries, and the fishermen feared their villages would be attacked next. Honeybees have also been deserting their hives. This is considered by many to be a very bad omen. Enter rights? Silmaria wants you... If you have courage, moral strength, and leadership skills, you may have what Silmaria needs in a king. Enter the rights of rulership for 1,000 drachmas and compete to prove your worth as the next leader of Silmaria. Justinian dead. Marit mourns her king. The kingdom of Silmaria is still shocked and in mourning for the assassination of our beloved king, Justinian. May he rest peacefully in the Elysian fields of Hades. <laughs> may, may he rest peacefully in hell. Orestes, formerly a sailor, was arrested and found guilty of bank robbery. He broke into the safe at the first bank of Silmaria and stole the drachmas stored there. Orestes is currently in the Westgate Jail. Reward goes to Valus, Prince of Shapir, for his apprehension of the criminal. <laughs> 